For this warm-up, you're completing the ratio table, so you're looking for a pattern. For example, 8 divided by 8 would give you 1. So 5 divided by 8 is 5 eighths, or you can write it as a decimal. Then to get from here to here, this is divided by 10. And then 8 divided by 10 would be 0 0.8, or you could leave it as 8 tenths as a fraction. Look for those patterns. to fill in the blanks. A pair of complementary angles, complementary means has a sum of 90, have measures that are in the ratio four to five. Find the measure of each angle. So angle one is four, angle two is five. So all together, this adds up to 90. So we could use variables in these boxes because we don't know what goes in each one. So I have 4x for the first angle, 5x for the second angle, and they have a sum of 90. We can combine like terms here, 4x plus 5x is 9x, and that equals 90. And we divide both sides by 9, and x equals 10. So this first angle would be 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees. And the second angle, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 degrees. So you can see here that they split one of those angles into four sections and the other angle into five sections. Altogether, those nine sections have to make 90. So that first angle is represented by 4x, and that second angle is represented by 5x. We can combine those like terms and solve it. Sketch a picture that represents the angle relationship described, then determine all unknown angle measures. Two supplementary angles have measures that are in the ratio 3 to 2. What are the measures of these angles? So supplementary is a 180. We have a 3 to 2. So if I split this angle here into two sections and split this angle into three sections. So this one here would be 3x. And this one over here would be 2x. Three x plus two x is five x. We divide both sides by five and x equals 36. But we have to determine the measures of those angles. So 36 plus 36 plus 36 would tell us the angle that has the ratio for the three piece, and then 36 plus 36 would tell us the second angle. And if we check, 108 plus 72 does make 180. Here I have four angles on a line. So angles on a line, again, make a straight line. I have an angle that is 36, one that is 117, so slightly bigger than 90, one that is 2x, and one that is 7x. So angles on a line add up to 180. Now we can combine like terms. We have the x pieces that can be combined and the number pieces that can be combined as well, as long as they're on the same side of the equal sign. 
So 7x and 2x add together to make 9x. 117 plus 36 is 153. Then we need to subtract that from both sides. Ten minus three is seven. Seven minus five is two. One minus one is nothing. Divide by nine and x equals three. So this one, two x, if x is three, two times x, that would give us six degrees. And then seven times three is 21. Keep in mind this sketch is not drawn to scale, so that's not actually a six degree angle. It's just a a rough sketch. In the diagram, angle BAK is a straight angle. Find the measure of angle CAD and DAE. These all add up to 180 since it makes a straight angle. So we can combine our like terms. We have the variable pieces that can get combined and then the number pieces that can be combined as well. So 2x plus 4x is 6x. 19 plus 15 makes 34. 34 plus 68 is 102. Subtract 102 from both sides. 10 minus 2 is 8. 7 minus 0 is 7. 1 minus 1 is 0. We still have 6x over here on the left. Divide both sides by 6. That leaves us with x and 13. So 2x, or angle C, A, D is 2 times 13, which would be 26 degrees, and angle D, A, E is 4 times 13, which would be 52 degrees. Here these are all angles at a point, so they have a total of 360 degrees, but we can't create one equation because we have two different variables. So we're going to have to do two different parts. Keep in mind these little squares indicate that these angles are 90 degrees. We can see here that there is a straight angle from BFC sixty five plus ninety is a hundred and fifty five. I have my variables mixed in with my little tiles for numbers, so I need to move the one fifty five to the other side with the other number pieces. That leaves me with y on the left. 10 minus 5 is 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. So y here is 25 degrees. I also have a straight angle on this side, which adds up to 180. Fifty two plus ninety is one hundred and forty two. I can move the one hundred and forty two over with the other numbers by subtracting. Ten minus two is eight. Seven minus four is three. So x equals thirty eight degrees.
This is another diagram with angles at a point. But again, because we have two different variables, we can't create one equation, but we can create two separate ones, one for x's and one for y's. I see here two 90 degree angles, so I'm going to indicate that in the diagram. And then I also see two straight angles, one across the bottom here. This would be 42 plus 90 is 132. And then I have y plus y plus y is 3y, and all of that adds up to 180 degrees. Move my terms to the same side. Then divide by 3 to solve it for y. So y is 16. Up here we're missing this piece of information, but you can see that it is a vertical angle with 42, so it is also a 42 degree angle because vertical angles are equal in measure. So 90 plus 42 is 132. This time I have one, two x's, and those add up to make 180 degrees. Move the numbers to the other side with the other numbers. and divide by 2 to solve it for x. So x is 24 degrees and y is 16. Two angles are supplementary, meaning they add to 180. The measure of the first angle is 45 more then one third the measure of the second angle. So let's say angle one and angle two. If angle two is x, the first one is 45 more, so I'm gonna add 45 more, then one third of the other. Find the measure of the two angles. So we're going to combine are like terms and since they are supplementary they should equal 180 degrees. One third x plus one x is one and one third or we can rewrite it as a an improper fraction here we go one times three is three plus one more is where we get that four from. Subtract 45 from both sides. 10 minus five is five, seven minus four is three, and then the one, these are gone. So this is multiplied by four thirds. We can divide by four thirds, but we know from previous lessons that by dividing a fraction it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply both sides by three-fourths. So now these leave us with x and then we can do 135 times 3. and then divide that answer by four. Now I need to go back and find the angle measures. That was just solving it for x. So I need to plug it back in to these equations. So x is 
101.25. The other one I need to do is 1 third times 101.25 and then add 45. So that's the same as dividing your answer by 3 and adding 45, which should give you 78.75. And if we check our work, when we add these two values together, we should end up with 180. Plus 5 is 10, 7 plus 2 plus 1 is 10, 8 plus 1 plus 1 is 10, 7 plus 0 plus 1 is 8. So yes, we did get 180. So angle 1 is 78.75 degrees and angle 2 is 101.25 degrees. Your workbook should be filled in for this lesson and your warm-up should be completed in your composition book.